shot. Yeah, I used to put up in Kimmy I the wall with plenty. I the wall with that fucking they threw it out. I was the wall with that fucking they fight no more. Cause they on their block. Yeah, 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 Man, we definitely, we definitely, we definitely in the building, you guys, and we back, man. First thing I want to say, man, is shout out to that Trigger Happy family. You know what I'm saying? They definitely held the south side down. You see what I'm saying? They definitely um, helped put us on the Mizap. You feel me? So shout out to the Trigger Happy family. Shout out to Bay Bay kids. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who Bay Bay is. You know 46 Woodline. Don't you know? They Bay Bay kids. You heard me? Well, shout out to Big Boss Man, Bay Zoo. Um, rest up Trouble, rest up Bobo, rest up Quinn, rest up all the brothers that they lost on THF. You see what I'm saying? Now today, you guys, this segment's about THF Teasy. But before we get into that, I want to say shout out to everybody who's going to run past this video. Shout out to everybody that's going to be in the building and check this video out. And another thing I want to say is I hope everybody's day is going A-OK. -okay. So far, so good. And that's how we got to do it. We just take it one day at a time and we just go with the flow. You feel me? Well, you guys know I promised y'all that we was going to get on here and we was going to um, we was gonna try to clear the boy TZ name today. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're back in court today. I got one of the THF brothers today that I need to go in here and I need to clear him from out of this case. You see what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this. So allegedly this is the picture of Mr. Um, TZ down in the Gold Coast um, the day Mr. FBG Duck lost his life down there. Now allegedly TZ was down there. This is what they say and they have this picture and a couple more pictures showing TZ looking out the window somewhere. We don't know where it's at to be 100% sure if it's in the Gold Coast or not. But allegedly, we're just going to go on ahead and say it's in the Gold Coast. Well, he's looking out the window downtown in the Gold Coast, allegedly, and he spotted FBG Duck, and he allegedly called um, a few phone numbers, and a couple of the numbers that he called was, um, well, I don't know if he called Dirk, but I know for a fact he called D-Thing, and I think he asked about Dirk or asked him, Ask somebody, um, call somebody or something, ask them what's Dirk or D thing number. And this is how they got in it, right? But my whole problem about this um, THF TZ um, thing, my whole problem with that is this here. For one, we don't have no timestamps on the footage, right? I ain't seen no timestamps yet on none of them to show like what date it was that he was in there, the time. Then allegedly they say they have audio of him talking or something or whatever. I heard it allegedly supposed to be some audio or stuff. But I don't even go look into that or, or either worry about all this audio and stuff like that. First thing I'll be wanting to see is a timestamp so we can know that that was him there at that time. So allegedly, um, I haven't seen it yet. So allegedly, I don't know if they got a timestamp, if they got the timestamp or not. But I know it's not one on these pictures and video that they allegedly posted to social media, right? Now, check this out. Now, you guys, remember when I told you I was looking for the video with um, with the car on it, with the vehicle and Mr. Curly on it, right? So um, I was looking through some videos, and I went to a video, and I found a video, but the guy is talking about that video where the mayor was talking on there right after um, the incident happened with Duck. Now, we're going to listen to what the mayor had to say that day, and this was three years ago, right? Now, I want y'all to remember that, and then I want you to remember that 
They say allegedly TZ was downtown and he spotted Duck and he started calling around for people to get down there and allegedly to collect this 100K that Vaughn had up. I want y'all to remember that as well. Trust me, it's all going to go together. Now, this is one another. This is one important, really important thing that I need y'all to remember, too, as the video go on. And it's all going to go together. Remember when I told y'all that when they put that video out of that YouTuber AK saying that Moo Wapnam had did this to Duck, right, a year before Moo Wapnam get locked up, right? And then y'all remember what I told y'all he was saying in his response, right? His response to that was, I wasn't even a YouTuber. I got on YouTube to fix, and he said, I was asked to get on YouTube to fix a problem and change the name. Remember that, y'all. Change a name. So you would be wondering, like, why would he be getting put on social media to fix a problem? And who was the problem? The problem was me and my videos. And then he had to come switch the name. And you know what he said? He said, I said, let's say Day Day Nim did it. You see, and he said, I um, he said, track, I told you we shouldn't, we don't have to set Muwap up for this end, right? Now I want you guys to listen to this video. I want you guys to listen to this video. Like I said, it's a YouTuber that's reading off the statement that the mayor made that day and know that this statement was made three years ago. And then um, AK made that incriminating statement and video um, a year after that, and then a year after that was when Muwap and um, the Old Block Five was picked up. So let's get to it. Oh, we give you more information about the fallen rapper out of Chicago, FBG Duck. Now they are saying in these YouTube streets and in these streets that he had a $1 million price on his head, and now the authorities officially reveal how he was located. Officially reveal how he was located. Plus, we talk about a lot more about how FBG Duck. We have a news video where it gives the exclusive surveillance footage of what happened and what people that were actually there seen and what they heard. Now, let's get right into the news. Okay, for FBG Duck, I have more information on Tuesday and what someone close to him had to say about the situation. Now, according to the Chicago mayor, Lori Lightfoot, Wednesday, they had a high police presence in the Gold Coast area heavy on foot, bike, and horsebacks, trying to find information and pretty much connecting the dots. Now, they are saying officially the FBG duck was targeted outside of a retail store as the Cook County Examiner confirmed. Now, they say him and two others were hit. Right after almost minutes, everyone went on social media and posted the incident or the actual aftermath of the incident on scene, and it was uploaded by a lot of people pictures and videos all over social media. Now the authorities are saying that they know exactly who are responsible for the situation and they are asking for those individuals to actually call the detectives. Now the authorities haven't announced the name as of yet. Now the authorities haven't announced the name as of yet, but as you know, if they know who did it, they probably will be announcing it soon or they might not announce it until they get those people locked up. So let me get this right, you guys. Now this was three years ago. This was right after the incident happened with FBG Duck. And it said right after the incident happened that the police already knew names. Strange. The police already knew names. Um, how? How did they know names? Or did they know they was going to make some names? Because you know it was a guy sent on YouTube to switch the name, right? And he told us that the name was Day Day and Diddy first, right? And that's why they put those videos. Y'all can search on YouTube and find the videos when they said, if Diddy's going to tell who killed Duck, if, if Diddy tell who killed Duck, it's all over with. And all they said, they were saying Diddy was going to snitch. They put Day Day name in it, right? And then, allegedly, they switched it to Muwap now. Because you know why I say this here? Now, if they knew already right after that happened who the names was of these people, if they knew that already, what took them so long? See, the reason why I say what took them so long, because you remember when I just showed you on my other video that the news said that social media solved the case, right? 
social media solved the case, right? I know they did. The social media people who switched the name to Muwap them, right? See, y'all, you got to pay attention. This was three years ago. Right after it happened, the police allegedly knew the names. Well, if the police knew the names, then why did they need social media help? Why did they um, need this teasy video? Why did they need um, Boss Top? Um, interview. Why did they need all that? Why didn't just go get them? And the thing about the TZ video is this here. You heard what the mayor said. The mayor said Dunk got tracked by his location from going live, live streaming all day. Now, let's think about it. Let's think about it. Can anybody go pull up any videos of Dunk live streaming all that day? Nope. I seen one video with Duck and his mama and them sitting there at the playing card table with playing cards or something. I think, or did she say that? I think she said it, that they was playing cards and Duck left to go downtown to shop for his child for some birthday stuff because her mother's birthday was the next day, which is Duck's grandmother. You see what I'm saying? So if Duck was being tracked by his by going live and um, off of Instagram, if Duck was being tracked by that by social media, then why did TZ need to call D Thing and have D Thing ask anybody they got D Thing number, Dirk number? Why did he have to call all these people? And why did Muwap and them all have to allegedly run out the O? If they tracked him by his Instagram lives that he was doing, if they was tracking him all day through his Instagram live, then why would TZ have to call anybody? Because allegedly they'll already be on Duck. Because what y'all telling us is TZ was downtown and he spotted Duck and he made a call. You see what I'm saying? So how do they track him by his location? You feel me? This is why there's no um, timestamps on that video of TZ. See, this is another thing I want to say. If they was tracking Duck all day through, um, through his live and things like that, if they was tracking Duck through social media, guess what? Um, I don't think they would have pulled it off downtown. They probably would have waited till Duck left downtown and probably hit Duck on the expressway or going up Lakeshore Drive or Michigan or whatever way Duck was taking to go back if they was tracking him through his Instagram live. Now, doesn't that make a lot of sense, y'all? Listen, if they was tracking him through his Instagram live, why would they pull it right there? They would just wait it on Duck to leave and got Duck somewhere else instead of trying to take a chance in the Gold Coast. They couldn't have been tracking Duck on his Instagram live. See, and here's the other crazy part about that. They can give you video of TZ allegedly in the store spotting Duck, right? But we haven't got no video of Duck in the store, even though they told y'all Duck was in the line. But just go look at the Mama Duck video. She told y'all that Duck was in the store. He asked the lady, can he use the washroom? The lady told him no. She said, my Duck spent all his money here for a belt and some socks. She said they told Duck no. He couldn't go in the washroom. She said some girl ran up to, um, some little kids ran up to Duck. Some guys ran up to Duck, some shorties, and wanted a picture. And Duck didn't give them a picture. Duck looked up. Allegedly, somebody was at the window of the store and Duck was looking like, oh, there they go. They finna Duck allegedly ran some girl outside, saved the girl's life, y'all. And guess what? We never heard nothing back from the girl. If Duck ran the girl out there and saved her life, he supposed to ran some woman out there, put her in the car, y'all, because they was allegedly finna take him. And then mom was like, well, y'all know how Duck is. He got a good heart. So I said, well, why this lady never got up and got on the news and say, oh, I feel sorry for that guy. He saved my life. Where's the two short that wanted the picture with Duck. You see what I'm saying? We never seen that. We never seen no um, video of Duck in the store asking to go in the washroom and the lady told him he couldn't. And then they say Duck was outside. And then they say Duck was in another store. Duck seen them. They chased Duck all through the Gold Coast. Duck got in his car and Duck left. And I said, well, why would Duck be coming back? And his mama said, y'all know how Duck is. It doesn't seem right. So you mean to tell me Duck got away, allegedly got away with his life life the first time and then he came back to get his life took it don't sound right because i think if duck would have got away the first time i think duck would have went to stl back down there and got some of his buddies or something or sat down and been happy that he got away See, it doesn't make sense it's, it's just too many stories that's not um it's just too many stories that's not adding up
For one, they got dumped in 50 billion places at one time. So that's not adding up. You see what I'm saying? Oh, y'all, we knocked through. I got some more of this video. Come on, let's go. Oh, hold on, hold on right quick before we get into that right quick, the rest of this video. Y'all, this is another thing right here. Now the name. You hear that dude say, the mayor and all these people in the police, Chicago police, talking about they had the name. They knew the names first thing in the door. They knew the names already. So how do y'all know names just off this footage? You see what I'm saying? How do you know names just off the footage? The stuff had just happened. How do you know names just off the footage? It doesn't make sense. They said they knew the names already, but they not going to put them out. They probably just waiting. You see, well, this is what the YouTuber said, where they probably just wait. But the police said that they knew the names already. But it's so strange that a year after that, here's a blogger coming on social media said, I'm coming to fix the problem and change the name. Why? Because the day they them name didn't work out, right? Okay, my point exactly. Now let's get back to this video. Like to the month they know the particular names, if you get what I'm saying. Now the Chicago's mayor spoke on the incident saying that this is a result of the ongoing beef between his gang and another gang in the Chicago area. Now here is a key point that the mayor said. Now you gotta pay attention. Now according to the mayor, he says the FBG Duck was live streaming his travels throughout the city and he was found simply because of that. I repeat, the mayor said FBG Duck was traveling throughout the city and was located because of his social media. And he was found simply because of that. I repeat, the mayor said FBG Duck was traveling throughout the city and was located because of his social media. Well, by me being um, so much of a high profile lawyer and one of the best private lawyers out here, then I want to ask you um, this. Well, was was Duck live streaming when he was downtown? Because we don't see no video or no evidence of Duck live streaming when he was downtown. So they couldn't have found him because of his live stream, right? Hmm. Strange, huh? He wasn't live streaming downtown, right? Hmm. Or was he? Because if he was, then produce the videos of Duck live streaming downtown. You see? So, um... This right here proves that um, no one knows how duck location was dropped, right? No one knows how duck location was dropped. It couldn't have been dropped by TZ, right? Because they was allegedly following ducks um, every move, right? So if they was following duck on live stream, and we have no live stream of duck live streaming downtown. And then, um, and if they was, then the duck was live streaming and they was following his live stream, then I'm pretty for sure they would have pulled it somewhere else than just the Gold Coast. See, if they're following his live stream, why let him get all the way from Markham, Illinois, all the way down to the Gold Coast? See, because on his way from Markham, he could have stopped on STL. He rolled past the O. He go past the Hunters. He go past 39th Murder Town. He going past the Ickies. He going past all of that. You see what I'm saying? Either way he take. If it take uh, uh, um, 94 or if he riding up Lakeshore Drive or if he just going down State Street or Michigan or any one of those streets. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense for them to wait till we get down there. Then hit them if they was tracking his every move on Instagram live. You see? Now, so if we got them telling us this lie, then guess what? How can we believe that TZ was the one that dropped his location? And anyway, check this out. We don't even have a timestamp on the TZ video, you see? And then I heard people saying, well, they got audio of TZ saying, what Dirk them at, what Dirk them. It better be some audio. I don't want to see none and no transcripts that somebody read down, you see, and captioning and doing all this stuff. No, let us hear an audio of this guy saying, calling Duck them and all. I mean, calling um, D thing and allegedly asking about Dirk and all them. And it don't matter if he did or not, because guess what? He could have been in another whole place doing that at another whole time. You see, you know what? Because we ain't got no time stamp on that video. You feel me? And the mayor said this. Let me repeat. The mayor said Duck was tracked through Instagram live because he was doing Instagram lives all day and that's how they tracked him. You see, the strangest part about it is this is three years ago. So if right in the door, the police knew the names 
and all of this stuff. Why did it take them three years to go get them? You see? And then they told us on the news when they got them that social media solved the case. And then they told us that the car that Mona Los returned back solved the case. I got rid of that piece of evidence. You know what I did with that? Right after I slammed it out the park, I balled it up and threw it in the trash can. You feel me? Just like we're going to ball this teasy thing up and throw it in the trash can because for some strange reason, the mayor and the cops knew the play from the beginning, huh? Strange. And the play is just like they called it, huh? Strange. For some strange reason, it seems like the play was set up from the beginning, you know, because they knew the names already, but they just never said it. Hmm, strange. But we never got no fo we never got no footage from the Gold Coast. But all the times y'all got the names, but y'all never put the names out. And then here come a guy on social media. After I'm sure people, Mr. Curly, or what really done happened, and I'm breaking it down, and I got the momentum. Now all of a sudden, a YouTuber pop up on social media and said he was asked to get on to be a YouTuber to fix the problem and change the name. And this is probably why. They didn't tell us the name in the beginning, right, Miss Lori Lightfoot? You see? You see? See, Lori, it's a lie in there, Lori. And when I find the lie, Lori, you know what I say. I say this here. Well, if we find them lying about um, um, how they got Doug Lolo, then how can we believe that TFHTZ is the one who dropped Doug Low? Because it seemed like the mayor doesn't know who dropped the low. The mayor told us that they got his low from him moving around on social media all day. What if they got his low for him moving around on social media all day? I'm pretty sure they would have picked Duck off before 4.50 or 4.30 or whenever he got hit, you see? And they wouldn't have got him in the Gold Coast. You feel me? Then y'all telling us that TZ spotted him and he was calling around anxious for someone to hurry up and get there. And then I guess he allegedly finally got in touch with the old Blockians. And then they um, rode up there in their cars and ran eight lights there and eight lights coming back, huh? Four, four shooters, four shooters, two people in each car running eight lights through the south side of Chicago all the way to downtown. Hmm. No, 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 no. If you're from the rack, y'all know one thing for sure and two things for certain. Police would have been on them boys before they got there. No one's, no one's riding and running red lights and stuff like that with those joints on them. You see what I'm saying? Now, if the police get behind them, now you're going to speed with the joints on you. But I just can't tell, though. You see, I just can't tell. Whether you got speeding around in them cars, how we know it was that day, and how we know they were speeding downtown to duck them. And you know why I say that? You know exactly why I say that? And I will stop saying it if y'all give us the footage from downtown. See, you can't show us no footage of them running out the O and, and flying down this way, allegedly. Eight, listen, y'all running eight lights flying all the way to downtown from, from King Drive. They're flying all the way downtown to, to the Gold Coast from King Drive, right, to go allegedly do this to duck. They get down there. They allegedly do this to duck. They're coming all the way back. But they got the footage of them coming all the way back, running lights, going there, running lights. But they don't give us the footage downtown in the Gold Coast. We don't have not one piece of footage downtown in the Gold Coast. You feel me? And oh, you guys, I want to let you know this here. Um, This one is light. I'll be right back with another video tonight. And that one is going to put a nail in their coffin. You feel me? So be looking out, you guys, for the next video. It's a major game changer. I promise you. And I'm out.